What's up, guys? This is AppSuck05. Uh, today we have a Kindle Fire. We're going to be looking at the Kindle Fire, the way it comes from Amazon, and then we're going to look at it the way it looks like after you install a custom ROM, the CyanogenMod CM7 on it, just to take a peek and see what it looks like. Uh, a quick review or overview, whatever you want to call it, uh, on the Kindle Fire. This is Amazon's. A little tablet is like an e-reader, just like their other Kindle devices. You know, you you get their uh, all their bookstores, and you can read magazines and that kind of stuff on here. You know, it's got a nice display. You have a it's a seven inch tablet. It's multi touch display. Uh, it's got a anti reflective treatment on it. You get a ten twenty four by six hundred pixel resolution with it. Um, it's really light. You feel it. It's it's um. It's actually it's pretty thin. This one's in a case. I'm not gonna go through the trouble because it's not a review. But um basically I'm just wanna go over and, and, and tell you a little bit about it. So Amazon's got their own little flavor of uh Android on it. They got this Amazon Silk uh, cloud based browser uh thing on it. Let me see. So even though it's got Android on it, you're gonna you're gonna notice quickly it doesn't look like any other Android tablet or a phone or whatever that that you might have seen before that you might have or so you have this uh all all, all your uh, tabs here on this main screen it's like the recently used and it already comes with some up here in the front uh, you got basically shortcuts to go on the internet here it's pretty snappy it's pretty fast. Uh, this is some of my videos. You can click on it, see it loads up pretty fast. I'm on Wi-Fi. It's a Wi-Fi device. There's no 3G or anything like that on it. But um, anyways, let's go back to the to the home. Up here, you got some um some shortcuts, newsstands, books, music, video, docs, apps, and web. So you can go into the web, and obviously that's where I was before. And you have like a face Facebook or you get add tabs. Here's some recently visited. It's my history. So we'll go back to the home screen. If you go to the apps, you see the apps are all lined up like like a bookshelf. So you can see the ones in the cloud or in the device itself. Up here, you see where it indicates the difference. You have you can organize them by the most recent or by their titles. And you can look for stuff here. You can uh, search. So you can also visit the store right here. And you, you get like a free month of uh, Amazon Prime service with this. And it gives you access to like a, a bunch of free videos, streaming uh, movies and uh, some series. You get books. There's this kind of little perks of, uh, to the book services. Um, you also have the Amazon uh, app market. So, you know, it doesn't come with the Android market on it, but on the Amazon app market, you got a lot of the same apps. And uh, so th you got access to a lot, of, a lot of cool stuff. So as it is, for a person that's going to get an e-reader and can do a little more than that, you know, with the whole music thing, you got a couple of stereo speakers on the top with a with a headphone jack, three point five millimeter headphone jack on top. This is pretty cool, and 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 for the price range, it's not bad. It's got eight gigabytes of uh, onboard memory too. I forgot to mention that. Uh, so basically, this is what you're looking at here. I mean, you you go to like I said, the newsstand, or you can um, hit the music tab. There's not much on this on this tabs here. Anyways, and uh, up here you got this notification bar. It doesn't slide down uh, like they usually do on the phones or other tablets. So it just comes down here a little bit, and you have these like shortcuts, like widgets or whatever you want to call it. And you got the Wi-Fi brightness, volume, and to sync. If you press this plus on more, then you go into the whole settings menu. And here you have, you know, your usual settings. You get the sound display, security applications, 
you know, date and time, your accounts, that sort of stuff. So we go in here on the device, you see that this is uh, current version 6.2.2. All right, that's the Amazon software on here, the Amazon Silk um, browser thing on here. All right, so that's basically it. I mean, you can I can take time and go over every specific detail and be here all night. I'm not going to go into that. It's basically a tablet or e-reader. And it's pretty cool, pretty nice looking, nice display. Now, we have a second one here. This one, I have installed a uh, custom recovery image, and I have installed a custom ROM on it, Sana Jamaat. And I just want to put them side by side so you can see the difference. Just turn the display down on this some. Um, there you go. I think that's much better. All right. Yep. That works. So here we are at the home screen. I'm using the 360 launcher off the market. Um, you know, you got all kind of transition effects. Now this is more like. Um, you're used to seeing from Android devices. So this over here is actually really smooth and I thought it was pretty neat the first few times that I kind of got tired of going back and forth. I miss this over here. So uh, e-reader with some extra capabilities, but now this is a full tablet. This is, I mean, I, I can put this next to a Galaxy Tab and there isn't that much difference. The, the device does have a dual core processor, so it's, it's really snappy. I haven't, like, I don't even know if there's any overclock kernels or anything like that for it yet. I haven't done anything like that. This one is, is rooted, as you can see. You have to root it in order in order to install the custom ROM. Um, and uh, and that you got the app drawer, this little transition effects from the launcher. It comes with the ADW launcher. Um, in it already when you first flash the ROM, but uh, all you do is you, when, when, when it boots back up, it looks just like a brand new Android device when you first get it out the box. You sign into your Google account and you got all your stuff on here. You you have to um, you go into the market, you can download the uh, whatever you want off the market, and as you see, it loads up pretty fast. You can search or we'll, we'll just hit games and. There you go, right away. And um, there you go. so this is a quick look at the Kindle Fire, Amazon's Kindle Fire, side-by-side -side view, stock, rooted with a custom ROM. Now, you don't have to put a custom ROM on it in order to get the market on here. Matter of fact, you don't even have to root it. You can actually get the market on here without having to root the device. But um, I I didn't see any um, I, I didn't I didn't see any use in doing that. I, I'd rather go ahead and do the full full on switch over to the whole system I'm familiar with. I like it more. Um, and when I had not put a custom ROM, I mean, what's the fun in it if you're just gonna put a market on it and not root it and not put a custom ROM on it? So, like I mentioned, that there's also the, the custom recovery on here, and you can go there. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention, there's no physical buttons on the on the tablet at all. Uh, the only button you do have is down here at the very bottom is the on and off button. And besides that, you don't have any volume toggles or nothing like that. So, you have, like, there's other ROMs out for it, the MIUI ROM, for example. Uh, doesn't have this uh, has a couple of these little on-screen buttons at the bottom, but you have the uh, button savior app preloaded with it and You're gonna have some on-screen buttons that are here on the side. You can actually move them around wherever you want on the screen but um in order to accomplish some of the things that you usually do with the regular you know home search back and uh, settings or options buttons on the Android devices and uh, You have um Anyways, so basically, that's it. That's all I wanted to show you.
Kindle Fire, Amazon's Kindle Fire, running CM7, custom ROM, custom recovery. It's the by it's, it's the Twerp recovery. And um that's about it. Till next time guys, AppSuck05. Thank you for your time. Bye.